May generally kicks off moving season in the Midwest. State regulators recently conducted an operation to crack down on illegal movers. CBS 2's Lauren Victory gets the scoop on the sting and hears from all the business owners who got caught. It was our error. I'm not complaining. On, on the phone is the owner of Illinois moving uh, company Move Mania. His website shows photos of various jobs, gigs the state would argue Move Mania did illegally. I just didn't like the idea of being baited. Baited, he says, in a sting by police from the Illinois Commerce Commission. Officers lured Move Mania and two other companies to this storage facility in Willowbrook by booking a fake move. When drivers arrived, the only item they picked up was a citation with a $750 fine. The bust for not having what's called a household goods license. I had no idea what was going on and um, pretty much shocked. Ollie Lashley yes. owns TLF services that got caught up in the crackdown. What's your reasoning for why you didn't have that license? Totally on the unaware of the rules. Ignorance was also the excuse from Morningstar Movers, a Wisconsin-based company that advertises on U-Haul's website. The owner was actually in one of these U-Hauls when his company got cited. He told CBS2 he didn't know he needed a license if he rents a truck for a job. Anytime you're going to move someone for compensation um, in within the state of Illinois, you need to uh, register and you need to be licensed. That rule is in bold on the Illinois Movers and Warehousemen's Association website. Executive Director Matt Hart tells us getting a household goods license requires proof of insurance. Why insurance matters? Matters for movers was answered by the Illinois Commerce Commission's Kaylee Baker. If someone is injured on your property during a move and there's no insurance, that could potentially come back on the consumer or even for workers' comp. If an employee is injured by an unlicensed mover, they might not be guaranteed the same protections. Back to the bust, we learned investigators targeted companies after cross referencing what's in the state database with online ads through the power of the internet. So our compliance specialists check through Yelp, through Facebook. The accused questioned the enforcement method. They could have reached out and made sure we were aware of these things without having to set up a sting. What about people that say, well, if you're gonna start a business, you should know the rules. I mean, yeah, yeah, that's, I mean, you're right. And Lashley plans to make things right. So do the other movers. We're gonna go ahead and get this corrected. Lauren Victory, CBS2 News. Well, at last check, none of the businesses cited has submitted paperwork to get their household goods licenses. The fact that U-Haul advertised one of the companies caught our eye as well. U-Haul tells us it offers loading and unloading, but not actual moving, and this bust has nothing to do with them. The Illinois Commerce Commission, Better Business Bureau, and that industry group we interviewed all have tips for anyone looking to hire movers. You can find that on our website, cbschicago.com.